Hello, you are watching the fourth episode of the Made in Kazakhstan project. My name is Anton Fyodorov, and I continue to explore the production capacity of Almaty region. The more I study the economic success of this region, the more I'm amazed at how diverse the directions of the enterprises operating here are. Almost all segments of the Kazakhstan's economy are operating in Almaty region. This is the mining, light and heavy industries, energy, pharmaceuticals, chemical industry and agriculture. In terms of the number of horses, pigs and poultry, Almaty region ranks first in Kazakhstan. 136 large and medium-sized enterprises manufacturing products under the brand Made in Kazakhstan operate in this region. Let's study the region. Watch in today's episode, production of chicken meat, how modern technology and scientific knowledge help to raise chickens without genetic engineering, protection from harmful and hazardous industries. I will tell you the story of an enterprise producing special clothing that can save the life of an employee in a challenging area. Secrets of pharmaceutical production. You will have a look at laboratories where medicines for the treatment of serious diseases are produced. I will start my research with a food processing enterprise. This is a poultry farm. It is located near the village of Chunja and has been working for about a year. Over this time, it has already become one of the leading poultry meat producers in Kazakhstan. This enterprise covers 1,000 hectares. It employs 950 people as the production capacity of the factory is 50 to 60 tons of poultry meat per day. Soft, juicy, delicious chicken on your table is always a long-awaited dish. Annually, Kazakhstan's market witnesses dynamics of growth in the consumption of poultry meat. 24 domestic poultry farms produce 800 tons of this product daily. 350 tons of this this volume is the share of Almaty region. Now I will show you the technology of growing poultry. It all starts with the egg producing plant. We receive eggs two times a week, sometimes 115,200 eggs once a week. First we sort the eggs, our employees remove the eggs with notches broken and deformed. Chicken egg is a very valuable and fragile product. To get a healthy brood, specialists work at the factory around the clock. They create all necessary conditions to exclude any harmful effects. This period lasts about 10 days and is the most difficult because fetus is formed during this time. On the 11th day, we conduct a biocontrol to determine the percentage of unfertilized eggs. There should be more than 10%. Then, on the 18th day, we do candling, that is, oviscopy with the help of an apparatus. We screen the egg, and if we see the red color, we remove the unfertilized egg. Oviscopy is carried out manually. A patch with several dozen eggs is placed on a special apparatus that light up the eggs. You can see that the eggs glow with different lights. Those that burn red are not suitable for incubation. There is no fetus in them. These eggs are selected and processed. Fertilized eggs are sent to the next stage of production. After the experts have examined the eggs for the presence of fetus and removed those in which it is absent, the eggs are delivered to these incubation units. These units are created according to the latest technology. They are fully automated. The temperature required for future chicks is maintained here from 38 to 39 degrees, depending on the size of the egg. And in a few days, little chickens will appear from these units. Experts continuously monitor the presence of eggs in the incubation units. And still, the life of future chickens is very vulnerable. However, the most comfortable conditions have been created for raising offspring. These units help raise up to 20 million chickens in a year. 
On the 22nd day, our chickens are hatching, and with the help of a calculating machine, we count them, vaccinate them, send them to the site. Then the plant employees start working with live material. Here, one cannot do without modern, high-precision technologies. Counting of chickens is carried out with the help of automation, but under the strict control of specialists. So, after the chickens have passed the incubation period, they go to such a special counting machine. This machine works automatically. The chickens go to this conveyor belt, then they are separated here in two directions and come here. Infrared sensors are installed here that count chickens. Along the way, specialists determine those chickens chickens that are weak in development, sick or stillborn. A healthy brood immediately goes to the automatic vaccination against Newcastle disease and bronchitis. It is done by spraying, and then each chicken receives a separate injection against bird flu. These are the technologies that work in Kazakhstan. Now the producers face an equally important task – how to feed this brood of many thousands. For this, a completely new plant for the production of compound feed was built at the factory. The whole process here takes place automatically, it is controlled by only one operator who sets the required parameters, and the machine already mixes the ingredients in the given proportions. The production capacity of the feed mill is approximately 20 tons per hour. The feed mill produces feed for our chickens. Depending on the age of the bird, the feed recipe is approved by our superiors. Equipped trucks are already bringing food to birds. They unload food into special feeding units. The poultry factory consumes up to 120 tons of compound feed per day. This room is one of the buildings of the broiler shop. There are 72 similar buildings at the enterprise. The bird is kept here till certain age. In general, I notice that caring for chickens is a whole science. Firstly, experts monitor their condition around the clock. Birds should eat and drink water on time. The room keeps a certain microclimate and humidity, so that the bird feels comfortable and grows. In about 42 days, this bird can already be sent for slaughter with a live weight of 2.5 kilograms. In this broiler shop, work is done in shifts. Twice a day, the duty officer makes a round of the brood to find dead or unhealthy birds. Feeding of the birds takes place automatically. Combined feed is supplied to the fattening trays through special channels and water supplied through other channels. Depending on the size and height of the bird, the boxes can be lowered or raised to make it easier for the chickens to eat. The most important thing is to provide a comfortable temperature for them. At the moment, there are 32,000 chickens in this building. They are now about 25 days old. Here it is open at the moment, and one can feel a draft here. It is uncomfortable temperature. Now we, together with the specialists, will adjust the cooling system. We will adjust the fans and regulate the valves. After six weeks, when the bird has already gained weight, it is sent to the slaughterhouse. At the beginning of the working day, the workshop employees clean the equipment and premises with disinfectants and carry out a complete sanitization of the freezers. The poultry intended for slaughter is delivered to the workshop in a specially equipped machine. Each batch of poultry is accompanied by a certificate issued by the veterinarian of the poultry farm. The document indicates the exact weight of the bird. To get quality meat, first we bleed the poultry by stunning. It is stunned by electric shock, respectively, by halal standards. Next, we start primary processing, which implies the removal of plumage, for which the bird is delivered to the scalding bath. 
Она а, у нас поступает а, в ванну ошпаривания. Then it goes to the second line, where it undergoes a complete evisceration. Poultry carcasses are sent for cutting through special transport lines. This conveyor runs continuously at a very intensive rate. Poultry cutting takes place in a matter of seconds. The cutting knives are angled in a special way to immediately separate parts of the carcass – drumsticks, thighs and wings. As for the chicken fillet, it is separated manually. Each worker cuts approximately 600 carcasses a day. Since we have our own feed shop and broiler shops, this is an excellent chance to provide the population of Kazakhstan with domestic and environmentally friendly products. Further, poultry meat goes to packaging. Each briquette is weighed separately. Experts check the packaging process. Part of the products goes to freezing and part goes to store shelves chilled. This is how ecologically clean chicken meat is produced in Kazakhstan. So, my research led me to the small town of Tolgar in Almaty region, an enterprise producing specialized clothing for dozens of the largest companies in the country is located here. Also, this factory dresses employees of the Ministry of Defense of Kazakhstan and law enforcement agencies. 95% of the staff are women. This factory, which employs about 200 people, is headed by Valeria Kulishova. She started her business back in the mid-90s. It was a very difficult period for the economy of Kazakhstan. Many businesses were closed or went bankrupt. Still, Mrs. Valeria found the strength and opened a small workshop of only 70 square meters, where she organized the sewing of duvets. In 1995, I didn't even think about production. It was a challenging time, probably in all the CIS states. And I had to do something. By that time, I had already graduated the institute and I had a child. I wanted to do something. Enterprises of this direction belong to the light industry segment. This manufacturing sector is of great importance to the Kazakh economy. It provides great employment for the working age population, does not require complex and large-scale production lines. So far, approximately 8,000 enterprises work in this sector, employing 20,000 people. But there are certain difficulties for Kazakhstan's manufacturers working in light industry. Above all, they relate to competition with imported goods. Many Asian countries with large populations and cheap labor have literally flooded world markets with cheap and high-quality goods, and it is very difficult for domestic producers to compete with these manufacturers. Therefore, for the state developed its own methods of supporting the industry. At the end of the 90s, in the early 2000s, we worked on our own. Later, the Damu lending programs were introduced. Thus, we managed to purchase equipment. Today, the enterprise, headed by Valeria Kulishova, has several production workshops and occupies 3,000 square meters. These workshops produce clothing for the largest mining, processing and energy companies in Kazakhstan. The factory develops individual projects for each client. First of all, we talk with a consumer about his working conditions. We need to learn details. It can be high temperatures or, conversely, northern Kazakhstan, where there are low temperatures and winds. We offer various fabrics that we use that are fire-retardant, oil and water repellent. We have a very wide range of fabrics. After that, we discuss a model that will be convenient for the consumer, because we have a lot of clothing models with available functions. For example, it can be detachable sleeves. And the overalls can be demi-season, that is, with insulation that can be removed and used. 
After the client has defined the requirements for his order, the designers start working. Their task is to create a model that would meet all the parameters. It should be comfortable, practical, and most importantly, functional clothing. It must protect from water or oil, from electrical discharges, from wind and dust. It all depends on the production conditions. My task is to develop new models, work out patterns, their gradations, make a new sample, control. Then, if the sample fits well and everything is good, we submit the sample to the workshop. In 1995, sewing was done manually or in primitive sewing machines. Now the production of specialized clothing is automated as much as possible. The factory purchased all the equipment at its own expense, which helped to significantly facilitate and speed up the process. This is a cyclical sewing machine. It sews according to a certain pattern. You see, it has prepared patterns. We also draw them here on the program. What does it do? Quilting or blanking of parts is created here. This equipment replaces human labor, accelerates work and provides high quality. The latter is the main thing that worries us. Why do we pay attention to this at all? Well, any modern production now switches to machines for cyclic sewing, like in our case. As soon as the designers have developed the necessary models, the sketches of the project are brought to the cutting shop. Here, the employees set all the necessary parameters for cutting. The fabric is processed by special automated machines, and then modern technologies do their work. The designer gives the templates to me and I lay out the details of the clothes on the surface of the fabric. It will be in electronic format, then I send it to the cutter. This is a machine that cuts not one fabric, not one layer, but many, 50 layers. That is, we can cut 50 pieces at a time. If there was no such a complex, then four more people would be needed here to ensure an uninterrupted supply of material for cutting. If we remove the cutter, then we will need eight more people here to provide an uninterrupted supply of parts to the sewing workshop. What are the requirements for work clothing today? First of all, safety. The form must strictly comply with the declared protective characteristics, be resistant to aggressive substances, water, oil, gasoline, and must also protect against various mechanical influences. Another requirement is comfort. It is better to choose clothes made from breathable fabrics that have a comfortable cut and are well-sized. The third criterion is practicality. There are increased loads almost everywhere where overalls are needed. Therefore, work items should not deteriorate and tear. Fabrics should be grease-resistant and wrinkle-resistant. Of course, the aesthetic appearance that matches the corporate style of the company is essential. We are responsible for the image, that is, for the status of Kazakhstan's production, since we supply our products not only to Kazakhstan but also abroad. We recently completed a project with Russia. It turns out that we are responsible for the status of Kazakhstan production. We always monitor the quality so that the consumer likes the clothes, feels comfortable in them wherever he works. We always strive to ensure high-quality tailoring and a good design. 
That is, we carefully work on this before we release the product. Now, when the products are ready, they go to the warehouse, from where they will be sent to their destination. Soon, housing and communal services specialists, employees of law enforcement agencies, employees of road services, transport, energy and construction industries will receive outfit that strictly corresponds to the climate zone and season, as well as suitable for their functional purpose. Most importantly, this uniform will have the Made in Kazakhstan label. The final destination in Almaty region is a pharmaceutical plant, which produces infusion drugs and injections. I was warned that sanitary safety measures must be strictly observed at this plant. Pharmaceutical production for Kazakhstan is a relatively new segment of the economy. Today, there are about 115 enterprises producing medicines or medical devices in the country. But the importance of this industry for the country is obvious. Firstly, it ensures stable provision of medicines to the domestic market. Secondly, pharmaceutical production is a good opportunity to apply scientific knowledge and high technologies on one site. This plant was built in 2014 and since that time has not stopped its production for a second. Today, this plant is the largest enterprise for the production of medicines in Kazakhstan. I shall inform you that I will have to wear a mask now because I came to a drug production plant and the sanitary requirements are very strict here. All guests, visitors and employees must wear personal protective equipment. Therefore, I will now use a mask, a robe, shoe covers and a special hat. Pharmaceutical production is very complex. It is divided into certain zones. Each of these sections actually works independently from the others because different requirements for sanitary and technological safety are imposed on different production cycles. At this enterprise, each workshop operates according to its own standards. So, I am now on the so-called A-line. It produces infusion drugs. Everything should be very sterile here. Only few people have access to this zone. This workshop witnesses the process of creating future containers for drugs. This apparatus, at a temperature of 220 degrees, melts the polymer and makes a special vessel of it which will be filled with the medicine. As I said, pharmaceutical production is a symbiosis of science and high technology. Indoor filming is prohibited. We were only allowed to film through the side glass. I went to the next production site of the A-Line. In general, this entire line must be kept in absolutely sterile conditions. The workshop, which is located behind me, is called the Blowing Workshop. The already melted preform comes here and then, according to the category specified in the matrix, a bottle is made. Experts have just told me how the air conditioning system works here. The conditions are amazing. So the local air conditioning system works in the following way. Dirty air is sucked in through the bottom, and from above, purified air comes through the HAPA filters. This circulation takes place constantly, because sterile conditions are needed for the production of medicines. Now you will notice in what special suits the employees work inside these workshops. From the inside, this plant really looks like some kind of top-secret laboratory. 
The uniform of the shop workers performs an insulating function. A special suit limits human contact with a product because even the smallest foreign particles should not get into the vessel and flasks. Employees also wear special masks so as not to contaminate production even through breathing. In this blowing shop there are two machines, two production lines and each of them makes 8,000 bottles per hour. These lines operate without interruption. Why is the pharmaceutical industry so closely monitored? During the years of the USSR, half of the infusion preparations were made on the basis of industrial pharmacies. Over time, the requirements for the release of such drugs have changed. Many pharmaceutical factories have switched to modern international rules for the manufacture of drugs, more precisely to GMP standards – good manufacturing practice. Such standards are aimed at ensuring industrial, chemical, explosive, sanitary safety in production. So, after the blowing shop the bottles that have passed through a special ionized beam, thus becoming absolutely sterile, enter the bottling shop. In general, according to international standards and requirements of the pharmaceutical industry, there are several categories of clean zones. Category A zone, Category B zone, Category C zone, Category D zone. So the Category A zone is the most sterile zone that can only be. And this filling workshop is the very same Category A. How does it work? Vials and medicines are supplied here via two lines. This is a special machine. It is just filling the bottles with those medicines, which will then be prescribed to patients. The list of infusion drugs includes sodium chloride or table salt, a drug designed to relieve intoxication, stabilize the work of internal organs and systems. Also, glucose and sterile water are produced here, which are also administered to the patients intravenously. I nevertheless decided to take off my mask for a while to tell you about the place where I have come now. This is a water purification workshop. In general, the plant stands on a water well and water is used at this plant for two purposes – for sterilization and for further injections to patients. So water for sterilization enters this blue tank, it goes through a filter with quartz sand and a filter with activated carbon then a membrane filter, and finally, this water is used for quart treatment of already produced medical products. But before they enter medical institutions, the drugs undergo final laboratory control. Specialists in the field of chemistry carefully study the composition of each drug. The work on this site is very important and responsible. If the percentage of any substance in the composition of the drug is below or above the norm, the drug may not have any effect on the patient's body or, conversely, harm the patient. We provide medicines not only to the pharmaceutical pharmaceutical market of Kazakhstan, but also to the CIS countries. Our task is to comprehensively and effectively solve problems in the healthcare system of the population of Kazakhstan and to meet the needs of the pharmaceutical market not only in Kazakhstan, but also in other countries. After filling with a drug, the vessel enters the packaging workshop. The conveyor belt runs continuously here. First, the vials with the medicines are put into boxes in batches, and then they go to special chambers where they undergo the second and final disinfection, becoming completely sterile. Next, in the packaging department, the drugs are sealed in boxes and sent to medical institutions for the treatment of patients. So, you have learned the economic and production potential of Almaty region. I still have three of the nine selected enterprises in this region to visit and show you. Subscribe to the Kazakh TV channel on YouTube and you will learn a lot of interesting things about Kazakhstan. Don't forget to write comments and like. It was the Made in Kazakhstan project. My name is Anton Fyodorov, and we will see you in the next episode.